Hello folks, this is your professor Michael Bloomingberg and I want to welcome you uh, once again to week two of the semester. I gotta say I'm really enjoying our online discussion on the discussion board this week concerning both the inquiry reading and Naomi Klein's article from No Logo. So with that being said, the purpose of this video is to walk you through some lecture notes that I've put together and in the process hopefully uh, help you with your understanding of both readings. I am on Blackboard. I'm in the Week 2 folder, which you'll find in the Course Content tab um, on the corner there. And I'm going to scroll down to Readings. And from Readings, of course, the Inquiry Reading and the No Logo article are both uh, presented to you as PDF files. As a Word document, I gave you a little uh, handout for the logo identification. I'd be very interested to see um, how you did on that. And I've just now added the lecture two, uh, week two lecture notes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got it pre-selected as a Word document. So let me just pull it up and we'll talk about the uh, readings. So the first thing that you're going to find here is that I have given you a class theme. Um, this is a theme that I use in all my classes, whether it be face-to-face -face, uh, or online classes. The theme comes from Stephen King, and the theme says that if you want to be a writer, you must do two things above all others. Read a lot and write a lot. Uh, there's no magic potion or formula for becoming a better writer. It's like a lot of things in life. You just have to keep practicing. Some of you are athletes, or some of you have even... Uh, played a musical instrument and continue to get better at that. So you know the writing a lot is just putting the practice in and that's what we're going to be doing throughout the semester. And the reading is the uh, part of the process where you're mimicking what you find. And you've already read one piece of academic writing with Naomi Klein's No Logo. So keep that in mind. But embrace this theme because this is when uh, I'm putting you through the torture of writing yet another paper. Um, you're going to remember this theme and go, oh yeah, he's trying to make us better um, and prepare us for future classes. So keep that in mind. Let's look at some things from starting with the inquiry. And I've just raised some questions that I would encourage you to answer um, as you go through the PDF uh, file or the uh, printout if you've had the chance to print it out. So the first question is, what is academic writing? And I have directed you to pages one and uh, two, which is really more in notation with the book. It might be a little bit different now that I think about the handout. But um, academic writing is defined really in the very first paragraph of the reading. It's what scholars do to communicate with other scholars in their fields of study or their disciplines. So it's a much more concentrated, um, a little bit more difficult type of writing to decipher. So um, keep that in mind. Why is it important to learn academic writing? Well, again, I've directed you to pages one and two, and you'll learn there that academic writing is a challenge. You're going to have a lot of challenges involved. That's going to we're going to talk about that with the third question. But the thing that you need to know is that it is important because you're going to be asked to do it in future courses that you take at the college level and some of you are already in careers and you know that if you're in a career you're going to have to do some form of writing generally speaking at one time or another even if you're getting into the medical field nurse if you're thinking of nursing for example they have to uh, keep charts available and they have to keep information um, on hand concerning uh, patient treatment so there's writing involved in all facets the challenges involved in learning academic writing still the same kind of direction. Um, I think the biggest challenge is uh, what you're going to read about with those habits of the mind, the patterns of thought that lead to questions, uh, assumptions, and opinions. Many of you on the discussion board have talked about um, the importance of critical thinking, which is the next question, and having to have an open mind to uh, explore new ideas. So see what you can uh, do uh, to uh, strengthen your knowledge of critical thinking by looking on page 3. The four key academic habits of the mind um, on page 4 are really central. And uh, you're going to find some good information about that as well. 
And then finally, what is the writing process? Uh, and how will you be using it in this class? And I've directed you to the very end of the reading to see what you can come up with there. I think if you can answer those questions, you're going to have a good idea of the uh, content of starting with inquiry, and you're going to know how to uh, proceed with your discussion board assignment if you've not completed that yet. Here's some information you'll find helpful from uh, switching gears to Naomi Klein's from No Logo. First thing that I want to note is that Naomi Klein is very much alive and well. She is um, 47 years old, and uh, I've put a picture in the notes so that you could take a look and see what she looks like. She is uh, from Canada. She's a Canadian author, social activist, and filmmaker. Um, she's known for her political analyses and criticism of globalization and corporate capitalism. And we're not going to get into the politics of it, although I know some of you do enjoy politics and political points of view. I'm not looking to debate that in the class, but what I am going to make you aware of is that she, uh, even though she's from Canada, which is a friendly neighbor to the north, um, she does have a little bit of an outsider's perspective in being able to look into the idea of branding and how it fits into American culture. Now she's best known from No Logo, from which your um, handout was taken. So you want to note that this comes from a larger overall work. Very interestingly, she had a paternal grandfather that was an animator for Disney. Um, he was fired and went on to work at the shipyard. Now when you think of global corporations, I don't think it gets any bigger than uh, Disney. It's right up there with Apple or maybe Google, Microsoft, in terms of the upper echelon corporations in the United States. Um, but you could see that her point of view might have uh, been shaped by the fact that her grandfather was fired. There's nothing wrong with working at a shipyard, but at the same time, I think um, there might have been a loss of revenue, um, some challenges that her grandfather, and as a result, through the generations, she may have had to face from that hardship. And as a teenager, she was obsessed with uh, shopping malls and consumerism. Uh, what seems to be her attitude about designer labels and name brands today? See what you can pick up on as you read through the article. I think she makes her point of view pretty clear. I've given you a definition of logo. Uh, Merriam-Webster defines logo as a symbol that is used to identify a company and that appears on its products. Check out again that handout where I've removed the identifiers from the logo to see how many of those that you were able to identify without seeing the name on the picture. And here's your question challenge. What is the main idea of no logo? By the way, main idea in writing is referred to as thesis. So. Uh, we're going to use that term in much more detail next week as I'll be making a new video that's going to walk you through the writing process and understanding how to use thesis statement. Um, what I wanted to do with this video is just kind of walk you through, get you familiar with some information you may not have known about Klein, and um, to give you some challenges and some things to look for in the reading this week. I hope you find it helpful. Hey, let me know. Send me feedback. I need to know if these videos are, are doing uh, the job that I want them to do in terms of helping you be comfortable in the online learning environment. I look forward to hearing from you. Keep posting on the discussion board, and we're going to soldier through week two, and we're going to do the very best we can. Take care, guys, and good luck with the work this week.